the entire order of finish is not yet official for race 11. Here are the starters for race 12 at the Illinois State Fair, final race of the day. Elimination for two-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings in the State Fair Colt Stakes. Number one was Fox Valley Snaffle, owned by Marty Engel and Rucker Stable of Buffalo Grove and Beecher, Illinois, trained by Katrina Rucker. Mike Osting is up. Two, I Lost My Marbles, owned by Kathy Vaughn of Moni, trained by Kathy Peters, Sam Widger in the bike. Three, Major Champion, owned by Shirley and Arthur Levin of Hoffman Estates, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler. Four, He's Awfully Good, owned by Brian Pinsky Stable, Incorporated of Downers Grove, Roger and Don Sampson Stable, Vernonshire Racing Stable, and Pinsky Stable, the latter of Plato, Minnesota, trained and driven by Brian Pinsky. Number five, Incredible Mo, owned by Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, trained by Brian Pinsky. Dave McGee is up. Six, No Place to Go, owned by Joseph Brown Jr. and Carol Reakin of Ashland, Illinois, trained by Mike Brink. It'll be Ken Holliday in the bike. Number seven, Baby Jeremy, owned by Smith, Brown, and Whack the Bush Stable of Illinois and Ohio, trained by Perry Smith, Dale Heitman, the driver. Number eight is No Muffler, owned by Stephen and Shelley Woodall of Frankfort, Illinois, Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, and Jack Hood of Valparaiso, Indiana, trained by Irvin Miller. Andy Miller is up. Eight, or rather nine, is Honest Lawyer, owned by William Beck of Edinburgh, Ron DeSillis of Alexander, and Byron Barney Lowe of Grand Junction, Colorado. Tom Simmons trains and drives. Number 10 is Big Money Man, who is owned by Terry Duffy of Lamont and Mark Franzen of Big Rock, trained by Mark Franzen, the driver Tony Morgan. Post time on race 12 is just five minutes away. Here they come. They're off and pacing. No place to go is first away. I lost my marbles is there. Fox Valley snaffle down toward the inside. These three come to the front. No place to go gets the lead. It gets over toward the inside rail. Leads it clear by a length and a half of Fox Valley snaffle. Then I lost my marbles in third, major champion fourth. Everyone settles against the rail single file. Then he's awfully good in the center of the pack. Then big money man, who is followed closely by incredible Mo, but that one is a dozen lengths off the lead. The opening quarter, 26 and four. Baby Jeremy is racing in the eighth position. No muffler is ninth. Honest Lawyer is 10th for the move up the back stretch. They're being led by no place to go, who's on top by one length. Fox Valley Snapple second a length and a half as they approach the half mile mark. And then I lost my marbles as third, major champion fourth. He's awfully good to the outside from fifth as five lengths off the lead. A gap of a length and a half, two lengths more. Back to Big Money Man, who's followed by Incredible Mo, the half in 56 and two. And then Baby Jeremy, who is racing a dozen lengths off the leader. And Honest Lawyer moves up to his inside. No muffler finds himself trailing at the entry to the far turn. No place to go, leads it by a length and a half. Fox Valley Snaffle is second to half length. And then comes, he's awfully good. He's awfully good, is lingering third, three lengths off the lead. Big Money Man angles three wide from fourth. And then comes I Lost My Marbles, who's back toward the rail, followed by Major Champion and Incredible Mo, who's in the center of the track, moving up from sixth, six lengths off the lead. Three quarters and 125. They turn for home, no place to go, leads it at the eighth pole. Fox Valley Snapple dropping back. Big Money Man goes to second. And here comes Incredible Mo to third, but he's a long way from the lead. Big Money Man tracking down, no place to go. And Incredible Mo is third. Big Money Man gets up by a length. No place to go was second. Incredible Mo was third. A long way back to Baby Jeremy in fourth in 152 and three. In the winner's circle for race 12, here's number 10, Big Money Man, Mark Friends and the trainer, Tony Morgan, the winning driver. And Mark Franzen of Big Rock is the co-owner. His brother, Gary Franzen, is the breeder of this coal muffler colt from the Noble Land Sam Mother Noble Jewel, Terry Duffy of Lamont, Illinois. A co-owner as well. We've seen a lot of folks from downstate in the winter circle and the folks from the greater Chicago area have done wonders for this sport of harness racing. And Mark, let's grab a word with you. Mark, Big Rock, Illinois is your address. Are you a native of Big Rock? No, I'm a native of Troy Grove. That's where Wild Bill Hickok was born. That's your fun fact for the day. <laughs> That'll work. 
you're kind of like a, an Old West character yourself at times, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Especially when you're in the winner's circle, anything goes, 152 and 3. Mark, you've been here before at the State Fair. It's got to feel good to be back. It's always good to be here in the winner's circle, no matter where you're at. And you would encourage people, no doubt, to enjoy the rest of the fair tonight and be back tomorrow, right? This is a great place to be. And Mark, we would agree with you, and we know that you feel that way. Whether you win or not, it's good to be here, though. That's the icing on the cake. Mark, we'll let you get going. Congratulations. Thank you. Take care. Mark Franzen, he's the winning co-owner and trainer for race 12. The rundown is next. <laughs>